I'd like to show you a metal fabrication technique for joining two pieces of uh, flat metal that leaves no trace of any fastener when you're finished. It's completely smooth on both sides. There's no rivet head, no screw, no nut, no weld. This is good for making a bracket where the thing that the bracket holds butts right up against the joint and so you don't want to have a bump. It's also good for a cosmetic application where you want a completely smooth surface when you're done. Um, this is a pretty simple technique. You can use pretty simple tools. The basic way it works is that you drill holes through the material and then you pound a short length of uh, aluminum rod to make a rivet. There's a couple of tricks and techniques to this, so I'll demonstrate that and then we'll pound it apart and see how strong of a joint it made. I'm going to join these two pieces of metal. They are 1 8 inch thick aluminum. The rivet material is this 1 8 inch aluminum rod. I bought this at a hobby store. We'll put in two rivets. We will uh, drill using a 1 8 inch drill bit, one hole, install the rivet, and then we will drill and install the second rivet. Let's cut the rivets now. The length of the rivet should be the total thickness of the material plus 25 percent. We've got a quarter inch total thickness which is 4 sixteenths so we'll cut the rivet to 5 sixteenths. I like to use a mini hacksaw because it has very fine teeth and I can make a very precise cut. Before I cut this, I cleaned up the end of the rod, um, but the end that I cut does not need to be cleaned up. Only one end needs to be clean. Now we have a hole all the way through both pieces of material. Before we pound the rivet in, we need to enlarge the outside edges of these holes so that the rivet forms a bow tie shape when we're pounding it in. To do that, I'm just going to use this reamer and I'm just going to gently cut a little bit of material out. And the best way to gauge how much material to take out is to look at the shavings that are coming out of the hole. 
and that is just about enough. Just a couple of turns is all it takes. If you don't have a reaming tool, you could also just use a, a countersinking uh, tool or a conical step bit. Now we're ready to pound the rivet in. The rivet has a clean end and a rough end. I'm going to put the clean end in because that's easier. And before I pound this, I'm going to put a few thicknesses of paper underneath to make sure that the rivet goes all the way through and it'll protrude a little bit after we're done pounding. I'm also just going to put a spacer under here to make sure that I can hold this down to keep these two pieces close together. Now we've got the rivet installed and it is proud on both sides just a little bit. Now we'll drill for the second rivet. The hole needs to be enlarged on both sides as before. We'll put the paper under as before. I'm going to take the paper out now. The rivets protrude a little bit on each side. Now we will smooth it down with a file. A little trick to help file these smoothly is to put a piece of paper or several thicknesses of paper under the file so that it touches only the rivet heads and not the rest of the material.
And that's all there is to it. We've got a nice, crisp, clean piece. If you uh, look very closely, you might be able to see the outline of those rivets, but it is perfectly smooth. And if you paint this, um, you won't be able to tell at all. It appears to be a very sturdy joint, but let's find out just how sturdy it is. So as far as the strength of this joint, you can see that the aluminum began to bend before the rivets pulled out. So it's a pretty strong joint, certainly adequate for simple brackets and so forth. Well, I hope you found that helpful. Thanks for watching.